Hey guys, it's Gary from Tutorial So, and uh, today I'm going to be teaching you uh, something called motion tracking. Many of you probably know about it because a lot of you have sent me messages um, everywhere about it. So I finally making a tutorial, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to divide this video up into three parts. This is part one, and this is uh, stabilizing motion. And now the other two parts will be covering tracking itself, and another part of tracking which is called um, corner a corner pin. And that's going to be part three. Part two is tracking. I don't know when they will all be up, but I know they'll all be up really soon. They're either going to be up all up in one day, or it's going to be one per day, one the next day, and one the following day. So that's probably what I'm going to do uh, just, just to uh, ease off the pressure. All right. So let's not hesitate any longer. Let's go open up After Effects. So, all right. So... Go ahead, take your clip right here, and drag it down into the new composition button. Now, drag it down to the new composition button. Mat matches all the uh, lengths and dimensions that fit your clip perfectly to this composition. It basically just matches it all the settings so that it has a perfect composition like this. All right. So first things first. Notice how in the in uh, this video right here, um, my camera. I'm not the best at holding a camera. So the, the footage is kind of shaky, and I do not want it to be shaky. So stabilizing, stabilizing motion just makes it makes have no shake at all. Now this is going to be really, yeah, be careful if you're, say, running around outside. That is, that's impossible. It's not going to be able to stable that motion. Um, with Well, it's, it's possible. It's just not going to look absolutely um, good. And I'll show you why later. Um, so, yeah. All right. So first of all. Let's go ahead and click Stabilize Motion. It's right next to the Track Motion, and it's under the Track Panel. You can find the Track Panel by going to Window and selecting Tracker. So go ahead, Stabilize Motion. It's going to open up a new window, and this is the uh, editing tools. Um, you don't need to use these at all, so don't even bother. So, all right, motion tracking. You want to look for high co contrast areas like uh, this white place over here. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, and it's really good if you find corners, because that's the best, because then trackers pick up, um, corners like that. It's really easy. So, you see how there's two squares. Now, the inner square right here, well, first of all, the tracker point, that's just to identify where you want to track. Now, the outer square, the inner square right here, it's like, uh, that just makes sure that's the area, that is the area that you want to track. And now this makes sure makes sure that the area inside the inner circle is the area that it's supposed to be in. So it doesn't like go all the way off the page or something like that. Now if you tracked something like uh, let's see. Like just just right in the middle of here. Um that would not be good because then because this all looks the same except for like right there. So it all looks the same right here, and it'd be going all over the place. So it wouldn't have, um, like it could be, it could be thinking it's supposed to be tracking over here when it's supposed to be tracking over here. So look for high contrast areas that don't look um, the same as other areas like this. But I'm only going to start over here because I'll show you in a second. Now, since there's rotation in this film, uh, in this clip on my uh, film, on my iPod is not the best quality. You're going to uh, want to uh, hit rotation and if you're zooming in you're going to want to hit scale but I didn't zoom in at all I hate rotation because I have some it's just rotating a little bit so make the second point up here that's why I put the lower point down there okay now that's a really good tracking point now um, what you're going to do now is you're going to hit just make sure that it is all stable so go ahead and hit the fast forward button. By the way, I'm using a rock band microphone because I was experimenting with microphones that are good for tutorials and this works perfectly. So if any of you guys who are making tutorials out there want a good microphone, a rock band microphone look, works excellent. So just putting that out there while this is uh, rendering up. Alright. Almost there. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to hit edit target, 
and make sure it's your movie is selected and hit OK. You're going to hit Apply, X and Y, and now you have a perfectly um, stabilized um, piece right here. Now notice, now this is why I said not to film outside, because it just moves your clip around so that, because you that's why there's these black bars here. It moves your clip around so that uh, it's like moving with your camera. Now what the way to fix these black bars over he around here is to click the down button. Um, open up the trackers. Actually, you don't need to do that. Click, click this. It asks for scale, and change this to 110. And as you can see, the footage is completely, perfectly stabilized. I'll do a uh, preview. It's not perfect, but it is really, really good. So you know you did a good job there. So yeah, you just want to zoom in. It's going to take away the quality just a little bit, but uh, it's alright because you need to sacrifice that for a good shot. Perfect. All right. So that has been part one for um, motion tracking. Please uh, resume to the next video. If it is not up yet, then please wait till the next day, and it should be up very soon. Okay. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and please go on to the next one. I'll put a link somewhere right here so you can click it. So click it right now and move on to the next one. Thanks, guys.